the diversity and the range of plumage patterns and colors and forms of the chickens are just fascinating. You really gotta like it. It's kind of dusty, dirty, noisy, very noisy, but um, it's sort of fun and gratifying in its way. I'm Tom Whiting, owner and founder of Whiting Farms in Delta, Colorado. We're a poultry genetics and production company that specializes in fly tying feathers. For reasons I can't even remember why, I started raising poultry when I was about 10 years of age, and I just never ceased to find it an interesting subject. I'm sure most people think they know what feathers are, but really feathers are a highly specialized, elongated reptilian scale. It's just evolved into feathers. A major function is sexual selection, meaning that the roosters have very brilliant and very showy feathers. So the rooster with the finest feathers might get the most hens and those feather traits get increased over time. It takes almost a year to grow the roosters from baby chicks. But I think we've settled in the 80,000 range at any one time. Chickens, because they're small and they reproduce very quickly, we can radically alter how the birds grow their feathers. It's amazing how much, with selection, the birds can have their feathers change over times and generations. This one's going to Colorado, Salt Lake City, Massachusetts, Sweden, Germany, Norway, Wales, Denmark, Kenya. This whole order right here I know is going, waiting to go to Japan. Rooster feathers are used in tying fishing flies, or they have been for hundreds of years, we know, because they're a defensive feather. So they have some rigidity to them that rests on the surface tension of the water. And it looks like an insect to the fish, and the fish will see it and the dimples it makes in the water, and they'll want to strike that, and that's the way the fisherman catches the fish. One of the reasons I'm in this business is I like just dealing with the birds. I find them endlessly fascinating and my favorite time of day is often when I'm going out through the birds on a daily basis and looking at them, seeing how they're doing. And I feel like I know them intimately and I handle every bird in the system. I've seen the trajectory or the arc of where the feathers have come from, but I don't view this as something that I'm doing. It's rather I'm doing it for a while. And I feel a responsibility to cultivate them in a responsible way, protect them from diseases so they don't get wiped out. And so they will be available for as long as people want to tie fishing flies. 